Item Number SCP-015-IT Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-015-IT is contained in a standard cell for humanoids in Site Vitoria and is kept under surveillance by a system of cameras and infrared sensors. The room and the adjacent corridors must be painted white and be kept well lit. Two times per day, a pig, sus domestica, is to be introduced in the cell to let SCP-015-IT feed. Personnel assigned to SCP-015-IT must take psychological evaluations weekly and must be cycled every three months. SCP-015-IT is a humanoid entity around 1.9 meters tall, with hairless skin capable of absorbing 98% of incident light. Its face presents neither nose or external ears and its eyes can emit light due to photophores placed on its iris. The mouth has eight pointed teeth in each jaw, while the tongue, 28 cm long, is forked. On both points there are two hollow needles directly connected to the esophagus. SCP-015-IT's arms are disproportionately long when compared to the body and the hands end with four clawed hands. Physically, SCP-015-IT presents a reduced muscular mass. Despite this, it is surprisingly strong and can easily subdue an adult human. SCP-015-IT is highly resilient to physical damage and can heal quickly from wounds and damage to internal organs. SCP-015-IT is predominantly active during the night and feeds exclusively on adrenaline and noradrenaline produced by mammals, with a preference for human prey. To procure them, SCP-015-IT developed a hunting method aimed at scaring its target as much as possible. Usually it hides in dark spots, trying not to be seen, and stalks its victim. If it is not spotted, SCP-015-IT waits until its prey is distracted and approaches it silently, before grabbing it and biting them on the side. The bite is not meant to kill the victim but to use the large teeth as anchors while the tongue darts forward and sinks directly into the adrenal gland. In case it's not possible for SCP-015-IT to hit the side of its prey because of clothing or other impediments, it will try to stab its needles into the arteries of the neck. The blood rich with adrenaline is aspirated from one of the needles, while the second expel it with the addition of a mild sedative. This allows SCP-015-IT to keep the prey immobile without wasting too much energy and to leave undisturbed after its meal. Prolonged observation of SCP-015-IT causes psychic deterioration to exposed subjects, with auditive and visual hallucinations, panic attacks, and, in the most sensitive individuals, damage to the cardiovascular system. The first symptoms appear after two weeks, but this time is reduced if SCP-015-IT doesn't feed regularly. The cause of this phenomenon is currently unknown, but it is theorized it is a method to rend vulnerable prey that would be too strong or aggressive otherwise. Recovery Log SCP-015-IT was captured on May 22, 2012, after the police of in the province of Caserta received many reports of vampire attacks. Site Vitoria sent the SSM-4 Pugnasperi, to deal with the menace. Due to its unsuspected agility and its coloring which allowed it to hide in dark areas, SCP-015-IT managed to avoid capture until it was shot with a transmitter that allowed the Foundation to trace its position. When it was surrounded, SCP-015-IT reacted with unforeseen violence and was able to kill soldiers and wound before being subdued. Addendum SCP-015-ITA during his time undercover in the place SCP-015-IT was found, the agent came into contact with a member of the Brotherhood of St. George's Knights. In an encounter between the two agents, it was revealed that the Brotherhood had captured SCP-015-IT, but it escaped roughly two months before being contained by the Foundation. After receiving this information, the Director of Site Victoria requested and obtained a CCSG's documents regarding SCP-015-IT. The most relevant passages are shown below. Extracts from the documents about SCP-015-IT Demonic Type Shadow Demon Threat Level 
Intermediate Low Physical Description Data already reported in the entity's description. Known Powers DIA-212 is highly unstable in our world. Designation used by the CCSG to indicate SCP-015-IT. It feeds on the fear of its victims by drinking their blood, despite not requiring it to survive. This allows it to keep itself in a physical shape adept to the limits imposed by mortal reality. It also possesses notable physical strength and intelligence comparable to that of a human being. The creature uses these characteristics to hunt and escape its enemies. Another important property is its resistance to blessed weapons, which only manage to inflict minor damage compared to their full potential. Note from Father Elardi, April 14, 2011 I am increasingly fascinated by the creature we have captured. Despite its mere sight being repugnant beyond every limit, I'm starting to believe that its soul is gentle. I notice that its screams are similar to a pained cry and that they get subside when I speak to it with a comforting tone. I think that it was originally a human soul before the enemy transformed into the monster it is now. I must find a way to communicate with it. It is my duty to bring back to the Lord every lost soul. Note from Father Elardi, June 24, 2011 I can affirm with certainty that the DIA-212 is not completely evil. It showed great curiosity towards everything that was showed to it, and it does not harbor hatred or fear for holy objects. Initially, it was very distrustful and always drew back whenever I approached it. But not only did it never attack me, it also grew fond of me and my disciples. However, it pains me to admit that it remains fearful towards all those who wear the uniform of our holy order, perhaps because of the wounds it sustained during capture. I shall recommend to everyone to wear different clothing to not make it nervous, and to try a gentler approach with the creature. Letter for Cardinal B dated March 18, 2012 Most Illustrious Eminence, I am sorry to inform you about a serious accident that occurred during the night between the 15th and 16th of this month. At around 9 pm, a handful of soldiers belonging to the terrorist group known as the Fascist Council of the Occult attacked our structure causing the death of twelve confreres. During the confusion, Dia-212, the demon we contained, ran away, frightened by the chaos created by the assault. I therefore humbly request of your eminence for funds to rebuild our structure and for men to recapture the fleeing creature. I await your reply, confident of your intervention. Father Domenico Alardi